Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Well, welcome back. Thanks again for waking up with us on your Wednesday morning. It's halfway through the week and those temperatures, boy, they're going to be warm this afternoon. Starting off not really all that bad, just 60s here at the breakfast hour, but we'll be warming up pretty quick by the lunch hour, mid 80s by then. We're we'll seeing temperatures this afternoon, likely in the mid 90s here in the Tri Cities. Lots of sunshine expected throughout the day. Of course, those warmer temperatures fueled by some stronger wind speeds that we'll be seeing later this afternoon out of the south. And a live look at Burwell right now at our Vieira wireless camera. Not a whole lot to show for that sun just below the horizon yet, 62 degrees. The so wind's not too bad yet, just suddenly at 6 miles an hour at this hour, but lots of clear skies. We'll see lots of sunshine throughout the day. Those winds are going to be picking up, though, and driving up these temperatures here in a hurry for too long. Temperatures at this hour really not all that bad. A little chill around we'll while, 53, maybe some jacket weather out your way still this morning. Otherwise, 59 at places like, say, York and Kearney, a little anywhere else. You see really in the 60s at this hour, 60 at Albion, a little bit warmer yet, 62 at Beatrice, 64 at Oberlin this morning, also up at Ainsworth. So a nice variety of temperatures in the 50s and 60s this morning, a little bit warmer than what we had yesterday morning. Of course, Ogallala had that record low yesterday morning, not the case this morning. Temperatures running, say, 5 to 15 degrees warmer at this time than it was at this time yesterday morning. So already warmer. We're going to be seeing some warmer temperatures this afternoon and really the next week as well as temperatures really the six to 10 day outlook. Temperatures still expected to be well above average here over say the next 10 days or so. So definitely be prepared for that heat over the next say several days as the heat will be coming in a hurry. Wind speeds out there anywhere between five to 10 miles an hour right now. Winds will be picking up though as we head throughout the day. Winds will be probably in that 15 to 25 mile an hour range out of the southwest. So definitely hold on to your hats later on this afternoon. It's going to be breezy. Satellite and radar, not much happening right now. Clear skies, lots of sunshine in the forecast, all thanks to high pressure really over our area. There is a, a shortwave trough over the central, or excuse me, the western part of the state. That'll be moving through later. Doesn't really look like we're getting any precipitation with this as a cold front in association, with, in association with that trough will move on through our area later on tonight. The good news is this cold front, as it moves through, will be cooling off those temperatures for tomorrow. We'll see the temperatures drop back into the mid-80s for tomorrow. But after that, it is just going to get plain hot. Upper level ridge builds in along with that high pressure. We're just going to be seeing very hot temperatures. 94 for an afternoon high today. The heat will be on, sunny and breezy later on as well. 63 for a low tonight. Mainly clear with a light breeze and then 85. A little bit cooler for tomorrow. Of course, that wind, though, not going to be cool enough. Not going to be dying down a whole lot for tomorrow. Otherwise, here's a look at highs today. 90s for most of us. Some hundreds off to our west. The temperatures tonight cooling off in the upper 50s and 60s for most. Even some warmer temperatures off to our south and east there. Temperatures tomorrow a little bit cooler for us, but much more comfortable nonetheless. 80s, maybe a couple of 90s in the forecast tomorrow. Temperatures the next week, though, after tomorrow, it just gets plain hot. 90s return by Friday, 93, and then we could be pushing 100 for a few days after that for our weekend. 99 both Saturday and Sunday, and sticking hot the next week. No precipitation chances in sight, and unfortunately, with the drought monitor, probably not going to get any better anytime soon. Yeah, we're going to need it for sure. Yeah. I still appreciate you not going 100. Yeah. Keep it at that. I'm very, I'm very close I to know. putting 100 on there. It's <laughs> very tempting, but yeah. we'll wait and see another It'll day or two. It'll probably happen by the end of the week. It might. <laughs> All right.